Hi, I am Joshua Kim, and I am a student teacher at Valdosta Korean School. Now, before we begin, you have to make sure that you have a class code from your teacher. If you do not have a class code, ask your teacher to provide a class code. Now, we are in Google Classroom here, and as you can see, I am not registered in any classes. To register to join a class, I'm going to click the plus button, and there will be two options. I'm going to click join class. Once I've clicked join class, I'm going to enter the class code and click join. Now you can see that we are in Songin Kichoban. Now there are three tabs over here, and for the stream tab, under the stream tab page, you can communicate with your teachers and fellow classmates. The teacher has hosted an announcement, and as you can see here, you can add your own class comments or questions through this button right through this tab here. And I'm going to comment hello. And if you scroll down, you can see that the teacher has posted different announcements. For this particular announcement, you can see that your teacher has posted a new material, Google Translate. So now you know that your teacher has posted this new material. And now let's move on to the classwork tab. Okay, and now that we're in the classroom tab, on the left here, you can see the different topics posted right here. Week, starting from week one to week two, week three, week four, week five, and week six. And if we move on to the center section, you can see the different topics, but and also you can see the different items underneath the topics. And now we're going to look at week one, unit one, vowels one, boom. Now there are different icons you can see right here. And these different icons all indicate different things. This item here is a new material that your teacher has given you. This is new material. And this, this icon indicates that your teacher has posted an, an assignment for you to complete. And this icon is a icon that indicates a discussion icon. Depending on the topic, you can see um, any number of different types of icons. Like you can see maybe one type of icon for a certain topic, or maybe you can see all three types of icons for a certain topic. Okay, and I'm going to click on the first item here. And there is a PDF file attached. Now to access this PDF file, you're just, you're just gonna click on it. And then you can see the new, the material that your teacher has given you for this particular item. Now, once you're done reading this material, to exit, there are two ways to exit. You can click outside of the material right here, like just like that. Or you can click the arrow here to close this tab. And let's look at the next item. This next item has this, these instructions. These videos will teach you how to pronounce the following 10 Korean vowels. A, ya, o, ya, o, yo, u, yu, u, i. And it looks like your teacher has given you different YouTube videos, which will help you pronounce these different vowels. So I'm going to click on a video right here. And And you're going to uh, listen to the video, and you can listen to the video any number of times you want. And once you're done with the video, you can exit it just the same as the PDF file. So you can click air right here, or if you want, you can just click outside of the video, and just like that. Now for the third item, there's just another video, so same thing here. You can just listen to the video as many times as you want. And once you're done with it, you can leave it the same way. Now let's move on to the fourth item, which is a writing practice. There are instructions here. Print the attached pages or use your own scratch paper. Complete the writing practice. Take photos of your work. Submit your work as an attachment. 
Now there is this assignment here, so just open it up. And since this is a PDF file, you're going to have to, and it says you can print it out. And, and you can practice. And once you're done with this assignment, you can take a picture of it and submit it as an attachment. To submit your assignment, you have to click view assignment. Okay, and once you're here, you can see there's additional information, like 10 points, things like that. And once you're ready to turn in your work, you're going to click the plus button here. And I'm going to go to file, because that's where I put my work. And since the file is on my computer, I'm going to upload it to the Google Drive. And this is the file here. So I'm going to click open and upload it to this assignment. And once I've done that, I'm going to click turn in. And I'm done with this assignment now. And once you've done that, I'm going, you're going to go back to class and then you can go back to classwork. And you can do the same thing with all these other assignments. And we're going to move on to the people tab. And under the people tab, you're going to be able to see your teachers and also the names of your classmates. But there are no classmates in here yet, so there are no classmates. Now, there are many things you can do in Google Classroom, and I hope you enjoy your experience. Thank you for watching this video, and good luck.